This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Peyton, congrats on the victory. Congrats on a great day. Uh, 10 carries, 125 yards, and you got in the end zone as well. As a, as a team, you guys ran the ball really well here today, too. Is that kind of the idea coming in, is be able to just kind of play a little smash mouth football and assert your will? Yeah, yes, sir. We just came in. Uh, Coach Freeze wanted to set the tone. Uh, from earlier this week, it was all emphasis about uh, getting our run game going, just getting back to our roots. So uh, I think we did just that uh, all four quarters. So I'm proud of the O-line. I'm proud of J-Mac. I'm proud of Troy. I'm proud of Malik. I'm proud of everybody. So. Yeah, you guys are now 13-0 and under Coach Hugh Freeze when you outrush the opponent. How tough was it today, though, with them rolling so many guys into the box and you know, seemingly, seemingly trying to force you guys to throw up, but you still were able to run it? Uh, it wasn't too hard. Uh, we watched a lot of film this week. Uh, well, we could because they hadn't played too many games, but we felt confident going in. Uh, everybody worked extra hard this week. Uh, Coach Freeze kind of took it easy on us. We didn't have any pads on this week, so we, he, we took it upon ourselves to like really focus on the little things in the show during the game. How about uh, going undefeated at home this year? How much pride do you guys take in that? That's the first time in your career that's happened. First time it's happened here in a long time, too. Uh, it's a great feeling, uh, being able to protect your home, protect your house. So uh, I'm really proud of my guys. I'm proud of the coaching staff. Uh, I'm proud of everybody involved. That's a big accomplishment, like protecting your house, especially in college football. So I'm really proud of everybody. Ryan? All right, first person uh, for questioning is David in sort of left from the news in advance. Peyton, you guys' ability to run the ball today was evident. Uh, found some gaping holes, uh, middle, outside. What did you guys see in film to know that you guys could really establish the run in this one? Uh, we just thought we could dominate them up front. Uh, our guys versus their guys. Uh, we thought we could just dominate them, just uh, beat them off the ball, do what we wanted to do. Uh, and like I said earlier, we just focused on the little things this week because we didn't have pads on. We were doing shells the whole time, so we were just trying to focus up as much as we could. So we just focused, we honed in on what we could in the show. Peyton, uh, Troy was 21 yards away from joining you and J-Mac with 100 plus, and that would have been the first time in program history you guys would have had three guys with 100. Um, uh, what does that say about what you guys were able to do today since you know the three of you guys were the only running backs available with uh, Shadro out? Mm -hmm. Oh, that speaks volumes. That speaks volumes all throughout our room. Uh, it shows that anybody can get it. It shows that anybody, you know, everybody in our room is capable of, of doing uh, what is asked of the coaches and more. So I'm really proud of Troy on that. I'm really proud of J-Mac and the O-line. So it really showed a lot today. Next question is from Ed Lane. Peyton, when you guys, you know, go an entire week with just shells, not the full contact practice, does that – make you guys fresher? Does it make you guys more anxious to get out there and just impose your will like you did today? How does that impact the mindset and the way you guys were able to showcase that today? Oh, when you go shells all week, it's kind of, it can get lackadaisical at times because, you know, you can't really uh, beat up on each other like you, you know, like you would a normal week. Uh, it kind of, you know, it helps you out a bit. Your body feels a little bit more fresh. Uh, and when it comes to game time, you know, you're just ready to hit somebody other than your, team, your teammate. Uh, so I think going shells this week, it really helped us a lot, especially coming off the game that we did, a real tough game. So I really uh, appreciate Coach Freeze for that. Next question from Damian. Peyton, the one advantage to having a short week is you get the longer weekend of rest leading up to this upcoming week. And how much is that going to help? you guys as you prepare for Coastal Carolina? I think it'll help us a lot. Uh, we get to go in the film room a bit more, uh, get to see them a little bit more than we would on a normal week, uh, point out their flaws, see what we can work with, see what we can, what we can improve on on this game uh, going into the next. It'll help us a whole lot. Plus, our body's going to recover, you know, a little bit more. So. Hey, Peyton, I've got one more for you here. Uh, you know, you started your career at UMass. I mean, mm -hmm. is there anyone left over there that you know, coaching staff, players, anybody? Uh, it was about uh, – it was three dudes I, I knew uh, that was over there today. Uh, one on defense, two on offense. So, um, it, was, it was real cool to see them. 
seeing people I came in with were still all pretty close. So, uh, you know, to, to see them one last time, it was great. It was a great feeling.